Uh, this question goes out first to, uh, to Megan. Uh, King Kamehameha's Kanavai Mamalahoi, the law of the splintered paddle, is enshrined in Hawaii's constitution. Should it affect the practices and policies of the prosecutor's office? And if so, uh, in what ways? Sorry, but I'm not familiar with that. Can you explain, please? Yeah, it's a law very briefly that says uh, um, to res uh, Kamehameha asked, uh, demanded that people respect alike, uh, both uh, great people and small people, and that made it possible for everyone, both the old men and women and children, to be free to lie on the roadside uh, without uh, fear of harm uh, and and under pain of death. And this was uh, directed toward the Ali'i and was the first law that um, prohibited the abuse of power. Um, and it's, it's quoted much now, particularly in homeless rights and sit and lie laws and that sort of thing. So I just ask if it should have an effect on the policies of the prosecutor's office. So my position has always been that we have to have an objective yet an aggressive office. And when I say objective, it means that we cannot choose who we prosecute. We cannot choose what levels of crimes that we enforce. We have to enforce the law against rich and poor, against Hawaiian or not Hawaiian, against local or not local, against homeless or not homeless. You know, and part of the problem is people are saying, well, you know, someone's homeless, we shouldn't charge them. But if they violate the law, we have to charge them just as we would anybody else. But we have to get them treatment. And mental health treatment is very difficult to understand if you've never been through it. So, you know, I have helped treat many family members, clients. You know, being a defense attorney, I get to see how mental health illness really does affect people. And when there's an organic disease, for example, organic schizophrenia, and the person is self-medicating, we have to pull together as a community, as a family, to get the person treatment. And it's ups and downs and ups and downs and ups and downs for life. It doesn't ever go away for the treated person or for the family. And so I believe that we have to be objective, but provide the treatment that everybody needs, whether it's mental health treatment, drug treatment, housing, um, life skills. And so the prosecutor has to be an active voice in educating the legislature to get that done. Thanks, Megan. Uh, Steve, uh, uh, any rebuttal to that? Well, my, my response to your question is the, the law of the splinter paddle is at heart is about fairness. and. Uh, I don't think the sweeps are helpful. It just moves people around. Uh, at the same time, many people that are chronically homeless have drug and alcohol problems. And uh, instead of seeing it and just thinking, well, that's a problem and waited for cases, I worked with Honolulu Probation and we devised Hope Probation from scratch. And as you've heard, People in hope get arrested for new crimes half as often as regular probation and go to prison half as often. We use most of the money we get from the legislature for treatment. And so the leverage of the criminal justice system can be a real help to people in drug court, can be a real help to people in mental health court and in hope probation. And I plan to, you know, since I know those programs, I worked with them, I visited all the drug treatment programs, I know the people there, uh, they, I will be a full partner with them in expanding that. And I think more, more folks, because you could take somebody who's homeless and put them in an apartment, but unless you deal with the behavioral health issues, you're not really going to help the person. You know, I'm excited about the little villages, the small houses, and if you can put the services right at the village, that's great, uh, because you've got to make it work or it, it's not going to happen. And substance abuse, the dual diagnosis programs, uh, and the leverage of the court to help people can all be tremendously helpful. Imagine having a prosecutor who doesn't object to anything. It isn't a roadblock to anything, but is an active voice working with the others in collaboration to make things better. That's what I'll do. 
Thanks, Steve. Uh, Megan, do you have anything to add or? No, I don't have anything to add. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Um, you're not rid of me yet because I have another question. Um, the Honolulu Prosecutor's Office works closely with the Honolulu Police Department. What measures should